Joining me today is former uh, New Hampshire State Senator Jim Rubens, who's also been a candidate for the U.S. Senate seat. So, Jim, uh, one of the other issues you talked about, yeah. and it uh, was health care. And it occurs to me, we were talking about debt, but it occurs yeah. to me our expenses on health care, right. right, are right. part of that operating expenses yeah. that cause some of the debt. Right. So, which, again, we go back to the complexity of this. Yeah. For us to focus on one thing, yeah. we've got to think about another right. thing. Yeah. Um, we're not going to be able to fix our budgetary problems at the national level without dealing with the fact we spend as I mentioned, uh, twice as much in healthcare per person as the other advanced industrial nations. So twice as much, and we're not getting better results. We're are getting they, worse results. This is do, intolerable. Why do we spend twice as much? Are we are they better shoppers than us? Well, they have they have socialized healthcare systems. Now, Mark, we, we have the fourth most socialized healthcare system in the world already in the U.S. This is as measured by amount of spending, government spending per person. So we spend fourth highest in the world government spending per person in healthcare. We're already heavily socialized. We're wasting a ton of money because we have a highly fragmented system. The insurance industry, uh, the, 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 the fee-for-service uh, system that we have right now uh, does not generate health. It generates what we have right now, and we've pushed harder toward it, is a billing machine. If you've experienced uh, the healthcare system, as, as my wife has recently, and you see, this, you see this in full glory, it's a billing machine where doctors, primary care doctors, have their head down in a computer billing and can't even talk to the patient anymore. This is a failing system. And as I said, we, have, uh, we, we, we don't have good health outcomes. We're the most obese nation in the, in the, in, in the large but world. Is that a health outcome or is that it is, it is a, a social outcome? It's a, contributor, it's a contributor toward our health problem. We don't exercise enough. We eat too much junk food. Uh, we, 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 we are addicted to, uh, to, to, to lousy, to, to drugs and alcohol to a high degree. We've got to deal with this stuff. I mean, now, so let's just, so let's, there, there's some personal responsibility involved here. There's some corporate responsibility. When a corporation works very hard as they are allowed to do in a free economy and I would not block them when they're working very hard to sell you stuff that is causing the obesity the the management and the boards of these companies have got to peer inside themselves and say look is our business degrading the prosperity and well-being of the United States of America is that our corporate purpose these are thorny issues in a free society, and we've got to deal with them. Well, and so, I mean, let's just take, I mean, there's yeah. two issues I want to look at, sort yeah. of, uh, but let's take the latter one, yeah. the, that sort of, the issue of freedom and choice. Yeah. Um, it seems to me in a society when we don't want people to do something, there's, we, we disincentivize it through right. taxation, yeah. or we make it against the law. Right. Um, so would you make it against the law to buy a donut? Well, look at the way we've dealt with cigarettes. Yeah. We have, uh, we have smoking has Smoking has dropped about and, half. And we've used tax. We've used taxes. And, 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 some and, le and some... And a lot of voluntary communication. Well, and, and a number of laws. communication and laws. Yeah, we've, it's, uh, you can't smoke if you're underage, et cetera. You can't smoke in a bar or public places. Right. We've restricted, yeah. right. So there's a, there's a menu of things we could do to deal with junk food and obesity. There's a menu of stuff. We can do education programs. Uh, we can tax sugar. Uh, we can uh, we can adjust insurance rates so that people who do healthy stuff like wear your Fitbit and uh, and use it to advantage uh, get a discount on their insurance policies and life insurance and health insurance. There's a, there's a menu of options, but we've got to implement some of them. We can't do nothing. We can't do nothing about this problem. And and the fee for service healthcare system we've got has got to be changed. I, I propose, and many people want to move in this direction where. We have capitated care. You have uh, you, you spend a certain amount of money per person, uh, and a health network is responsible for keeping you healthy. And the better a job they do at keeping you healthy, the more money they make. So we need to change the structure of incentives uh, in in the healthcare system. And, and do you think that will work? That that sort of I mean, what happens to the somebody? Who can they cut you off, I guess, is what an average person might Well, that's think. A, a structural problem. How do we, you know, we, we see Congress dealing with this problem right now. What do we do with people who decide, I don't want to pay for insurance right now because I'm young and immortal right now? Well, we need to change the structure of insurance so that people who are young and immortal are not subsidizing people who are old and obese, okay? So you, you, so you can punish young people by as Obamacare did by uh, forcing a, 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 a surcharge on them, a tax on them. That, that hasn't worked. 
Uh, I don't believe that we ought to force, and I, I believe it's unconstitutional to force Americans to buy a specific product. So I'd like to shift back to a free market, and, but, but we need to have incentives for people to do the right thing. So what do we do about people who can't afford it? We do need uh, subsidized catastrophic health insurance. Uh, we need a primary health care system so that people are, are not, look at Obamacare, people are not using health care right now because the deductibles are so high that it's not health care anymore. It's insurance, but it's not health care. So we need a primary care system where people have access to, you know, checking in well, as to whether their kid's flu is a serious problem or not. And I got to stop you here. Okay. We've got to check into a commercial break. Okay. When we return, we're going to continue this conversation. So please okay. stay with us. <laughs> 